Hello, Young Math Padawans. It's Mrs. Angel with your lesson for today on pairs of angles, adjacent, linear pair, and vertical. So you should have a copy of these notes, grab them, and let's get started. We're going to start off by talking about adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are angles that have a common side and a common vertex. In other words, to be adjacent means to be right next to. So let's name all pairs of adjacent angles in this diagram. I'm just going to start with the top angle here of K, J, L. What angle shares the same side and vertex as K, J, L? We could say L, J, M, because they share the same vertex, J, and they share the same side, J, L. So one pair of adjacent angles are angles K, J, L, and LJM. Now, those are not the only adjacent angles here. In fact, that's not even the only adjacent angle to KJL, but let's keep going. So if we have angle LJM, what angle is that adjacent to? Well, looking at my diagram here, it looks like that's adjacent to angle MJN because they share point J and side JM. So that's another pair of adjacent angles. Angle L, J, M, and angle M, J, N. Now looking at this diagram, do you see any other adjacent angles here? I actually do. Going back to angle K, J, L, this time in a thicker color, K, J, L, also happens to be adjacent to L, J, N, because they also share the same vertex, J, and the same side, J, L. So that's another pair of adjacent angles, angle K, J, L, and angle L, J, N. There's one more pair of adjacent angles here, and it has to do with angle M, J, N. If we come back in here and look at angle MJN, what angle is adjacent to MJN? That would be MJK. So you're going to notice in the adjacent angles, they're going to have the same two letters next to each other. So in angle MJN, that is adjacent to MJK. So you can actually see the adjacent side when you're looking at the pairs of angles. In KJL and LJM, they both have JL in the name. In LJM and MJN, they both have JM in the name. So adjacent angles are two angles with a common vertex and a common side. In other words, they're right next to each other. A linear pair is a pair of adjacent angles that are also supplementary. It can also be described as a pair of adjacent angles that form when two lines intersect, like the diagram above here. So looking at this diagram, we have our two intersecting lines, which means we actually have four linear pairs. Let's go in and name them. So I'm gonna start off with looking at just one of the lines and identifying the linear pairs formed by that line. So I'm going to start by looking at just line BAD, line BAD. And that line has two linear pairs. There's a linear pair on the top left of this line, and there's a linear pair on the bottom right of this line. So let's look at those. So the adjacent angles here on the top left are angles BAC and angles CAD. So angle BAC and angle CAD are one of our linear pairs. Looking at the bottom right, I also notice that angle BAE is adjacent and supplementary to angle EAD. That is another linear pair. So we have angle BAE and angle EAD. Those are also linear pairs. Now let's look at this from the perspective of the other line in this diagram. Our other line here is CAE, and this has its own set of linear pairs. For this one, I have a set of linear pairs on the top right and a set of linear pairs on the bottom left. 
Let's start with the top right. In the top right, I have angle CAD and angle DAE that are adjacent and supplementary, thus forming what we call a linear pair. So angle CAD and angle DAE. Can you find the last linear pair in this diagram that we haven't named yet? If you said angle CAB and angle BAE, you were correct. That is our last linear pair. So one way I like to remember linear pairs is we all know that linear means to form a line. So I think of a pair of angles that form a line with their non-adjacent or shared side. Our last set of angles are called vertical angles. Vertical angles are also formed by intersecting lines, but unlike linear pairs, they're not adjacent to each other, they are opposite each other, kind of like reflections across the intersecting lines. So let's take a look at this diagram and find our opposite or vertical angles. In this case, there's actually only two pairs of vertical angles. I'm going to start by looking at one of our angles here. Let's just identify our top angle, CAD. Now, what would be opposite of CAD, meaning they are not adjacent, they don't share a side, but they would share a vertex? If you said angle BAE, then you were correct. That is the angle that is vertical to angle CAD because it's opposite or reflected on the bottom. What would be the other set of vertical angles here? That would be angle CAD and angle DAE because they are on opposite sides of the intersecting lines and not adjacent. Now there's something special about vertical angles and we're going to investigate that with this diagram here. So in this diagram, we're given that the measure of angle CAB is 50 degrees. Now we could actually find all the other angle measures here because we're given a couple linear pairs. So let's start by finding the measure of angle CAD. Hmm, okay, if I know that these form a linear pair and that the measure of CAB is 50 degrees, how could I find the measure of angle CAD? You guessed it, since they're supplementary in a linear pair, I would just do 180 minus 50, which gives me 130 degrees. So now I know that the measure of angle CAD is 100 degrees. 30 degrees. But I don't have to stop there, I can keep going. I have another linear pair here between CAD and DAE. So how would I find the measure of angle DAE? I would do the same thing, 180 minus 130, which we already know the answer to that is 50 degrees. Hmm, so that angle is 50 degrees. Last one, I can find the measure of angle BAE using the exact same logic and math. Knowing that these are a linear pair, I would just do 180 minus 50, which gives me 130 degrees. So let's think about this for a moment. We know the pairs of vertical angles are CAB and DAE and CAD and BAE. Now that this diagram is fully filled out, what can you conclude about vertical angles? If you said something like they have the same measure or they're equal or they're the same, then you're pretty much correct. But in geometry, we have a word for that. That word is congruent. Congruent means to have the same measure or equal measures. So to say that vertical angles are congruent means that their angles will always have the same measure. To quickly recap, adjacent angles are angles that have the same side and the same vertex. They are literally touching each other. Linear pairs are adjacent angles that are formed by intersecting lines. So when you have two lines that intersect, the ones that are touching each other, those are, adjacent, those are linear pairs, meaning they are supplementary. And finally, vertical angles are the opposite angles formed by intersecting lines. Those are the ones that are on the top and bottom, left and right, and they are always congruent, which means they have the same or equal measure. 
That's it for today's lesson. I will see you next time. Thank you.